Good morning and happy Friday. It is time for Strength and Mobility. I'm Andy, the fitness and health and fitness specialist over in Bedford, and uh, we're going to get right into it. So we're going to start with our full body stretch, working from the top down. We're going to start with some pulls to the side of our neck. I'm going to grab on the opposite side and pull to the arm side. I'm going to hold this for about 10 seconds. Switch. And then we'll do some neck rolls. So we're going to tuck our chin and just roll to the side. Do a couple going this way. And we'll switch going the other way. All right, moving on our shoulders. <clears throat> we're gonna do a scapular retraction. So we're gonna put our palms together and we're gonna squeeze at the back. All right, next we go one arm across. Switch. Do our wrists and forearms. We're just pulling the fingers back with our opposite hand. Switch. Next, we're going to get into a split stance position. We're going to get straight down. Over to the side. And over to the other side. Now we'll be down on the mat and do our butterflies. All right, get down, flat on our back, one knee to the chest. Switch. Well, geez, here he comes. Hey, buddy. You gotta go upstairs. No, no, no. Kira, can you call Rex up? <laughs> All right, back to it. Let's do back extensions. Finishing an arch. All right. 
And we'll jog in place for 30 seconds. Take this time real quick to make sure you got everything you need. Water, towel, anything that might still feel a little stiff. Go ahead and get a stretch of that. <clears throat> we'll start in about 20, 30 seconds with circuit one. We've got squats. Uh, what else we got? Single leg glute bridges. And we have deadlifts with row, which I think is a new one for the circuit. So we got squats first. And up. And squat for ten. are down on the mat. And we got one leg up. <clears throat> and we do a glute bridge with the other leg. We do a five per side. We got deadlift with row. So it should look like this. Feet shoulder width apart, <clears throat> soft knees, like we would for uh, an RDL, but we're going to row and then deadlift. break. Now we're getting to round two, circuit one. <clears throat> Something I forgot to mention in the intro, we are <clears throat> ramping up again. I said on Monday for the 5k. A lot of registrations already, which is awesome. We released the registration on <clears throat> Tuesday, I believe it was. We've gotten some good response already, so that's good. And then, yeah, we have training programs. Uh, every week we're going to have a muscle group dedicated towards training for the 5K. Again, this one's this week is hamstrings, so you notice we got a few hamstring exercises right off the bat. And yeah, if you haven't uh, signed up already and want to join up, the link is in the fast jump, I believe. Uh, it was shared on Slack. And if you have any questions, feel free to email any of us at the fitness center. All right, let's do it. Uh, squats. Thank you. 
And deadlift with rows. Alrighty, quick 20 seconds. Set for circuit one. Squats. And rows with her deadlift with row to finish off circuit one. Take a quick 20 30 seconds, and then we have our mobility circuit. We are actually going to swap out bird dogs this week for the first time in a while for T spine rotations, and then we have cat cows and fire hygienes. So, T spine rotations, which looks something like this. Feet and hands, <clears throat> shoulder width apart, knees under your hips. We reach through with one hand and pull up. And we're doing five per side. And there we've got cat cows. Same setup. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. We don't want to be leaning forward or backwards during the exercise. Start with our chin up. As we tuck our chin to our chest, our back comes up. And back down. Remember to breathe 
throughout the exercise. And we'll do one more. All right, next we got fire hydrants. Again, same setup for the hands and feet. And we're just going to open the hip to one side. All right, quick break. T-spine rotations. Right in the cat cows. One more. All right. Fire hydrants next. seconds and then we will finish circuit two all right last set of t-spine rotations
cat cows. And one more. All right, and fire hydrants. Take a quick 20 or 30 seconds in between the circuits. I will get on to four three. I'm standing again. Or kneeling actually for shoulder press. Shoulder press, which again can be performed standing, kneeling, or even sitting. Uh, I'm going to do kneeling so this does not smack the light fixture above me. But if you're kneeling, you get up nice and tall, nice straight spine, and you press from here. And we've got 10. Next, you might want to grab a smaller set of dumbbells or lighter objects in your house. Uh, we have our wrist and forearm curls. So again, we're going to sit up nice and straight on a chair, on a couch, <clears throat> and using just our forearms and wrist, we just want to curl up. Reverse. All right. Next, we're going to pick up the heavier dumbbells again, and we're going to do an upright row. A little different than what we've done in the past. We're going to stand up nice and tall. <clears throat> feet shoulder over the part. Dumbbells start at about hips and we bring them up like a row. That's round one. All right, round two. Yeah, shoulder press. Forearm curls.
and upright rows. seconds and we'll finish up seven three excuse me Shoulder press. Wrist and forearm curls. set of upright rows. Take about 30 seconds, and we're going to get into the final circuit, circuit four, where we've got tricep kickbacks, single leg deadlift to knee drive, and reverse curls. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> tricep kickbacks, feet shoulder width apart, soft knees, slight lean forward. Here we try the dumbbell back, igniting the triceps at the end. Switch sides. And we've got single leg deadlift to knee drive. All right, and we 
I've got reverse curls. So instead of having your palms up, we have our palms down and we're going to curl that way. seconds. Tricep kickbacks. Super leg deadlift and knee drive. And reverse curls. <laughs> Last break before we finish circuit four. And strength and mobility for our Friday. <clears throat> All right, last set of tricep kickbacks. sides. All right, single leg deadlift at the knee drive.
All right, and our last set of reverse curls. Alrighty, take a minute, get some water, and then we will get into our cool down, get on with our Friday, send us into the weekend. We're gonna start for a cool down. We're gonna start in that lunge. Just gonna lean into that front leg. Get a good stretch of the groin. Can lean back, get the hamstring. So sad. All right, <clears throat> I'm still kneeling. I'm just going to do some arm circles. back. And tricep stretch. And switch. The mat. So we're going to have one foot. My right leg is on my left hip, and I'm leaning into that leg. Getting a nice stretch of my right hip and glute. And switch sides. We're down on our backs, one knee to the chest. And switch. To back extensions. And 
and end in an arch. Alrighty, that was going to do it for strength and mobility on Friday. <clears throat> Hope everyone's feeling a little bit more mobile, a little stronger than when they started. Everyone has a nice weekend. Again, I'll reiterate, I'm Andy from the Fitness Center in New Bedford, the health and fitness specialist. Uh, we are really working at gearing towards our 5K, which is set to start on May 31st, I believe. I'm not great with dates, but it's uh, only about a short eight weeks away, and we all know that will come up fast. If you're looking to sign up and you haven't already, the sign up is supposed to on Slack and the fast jump. If you have any questions, if you're looking to train for it, uh, just train in any facet, really. Uh, uh, never hesitate to reach out to myself mm -hmm. and Jenna in Bedford or Jess and Alex over in McLean, and we look forward to working with you. Uh, and, yeah, everybody have a nice weekend. I will see you on Monday.